Hey, I'm Kenton Duty from Disney Channel Shake It Up, and you're watching Clever TV. Hey everyone, welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward, chilling in the lounge with Kenton Duty. <laughs> Once again, I love this. Thank you, thank you. You are starring on this brand new Disney Channel show called Shake It Up. Yes. Tell yeah. us a little bit about, you know, what the show's about. Okay, well, it's about these two girls, Cece and Rocky, mm -hmm. and then my character Gunther and his sister Tinka are their fr are frenemies to them. Oh, frenemies. Yes, and so there's suddenly like an open audition in Chicago, uh -huh. where we all live, and it's for this co the coolest dance show around called Shake It Up Chicago. So we all go in, we audition, and we all get on, but uh, you know, there's a little bit of twists and plots there, but uh, hey, I'm not giving anything away. Of course you're not. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. So was part of the audition process dancing? Because I'm assuming if you're gonna make it on to the, the Chicago Shake It Up, yeah. is it called Shake It Up Chicago? Shake It, well, the ac our actual show is called Shake It Up. But no, the show the we auditioned show, for yeah. is Shake It Up Chicago. Okay, so I'm assuming if you make it on Shake It Up Chicago, like mm -hmm. you said, you're, you know, your character does, yep. I'm assuming you've got some some mad dance skills, maybe? Uh, I I'm, I just started dancing when the show started. Wait, what? I, I was not a dancer before the show. I was the only one who hadn't at least danced a month before. I love Like, out of everybody. <laughs> Wait, so for the audition, I'm, I mean, didn't you have to dance? They had us make up our own routine to Boom Boom Pow. So what so I had, I, did I you went do? Online, I'm like, dancing before. I went online, and I'm like, cool dance moves. And I just looked through all these th these dance moves. And I'm like, I'm going to put that one in and that one in. And I showed it to my parents, and they're like, okay, Chris minute it up a bit, and I think, I think you'll be okay. And I knew that they were really thinking, He's never gonna make it. <laughs> so what was like the main dance move? Did you have some sprinkler action going on? After a while, I just started doing, <laughs> you know, the old, like the good, the good stuff, you know, like funky chicken, a <laughs> little bit, you know, <laughs> that stuff. But I, I, I got some cool moves and, you know, I, after we did the pilot, I learned a little bit of breaking and stuff. Wow. But I learned from Mercero and Claude, which are were the choreographers for Camp Rock and Camp or Camp Rock 2. Oh, very cool. So, you know, if if you've seen the trailer for that, think of that times like, I don't know, 3. Wow. We've got our Did show or how they want it to be. You're mixing so, it up. You're taking Camp Rock 2 up. and like doing it times 3. Well, that's what that's, that's what we're going for. That's in. what we're going for. That's yeah, what that's you're what going, going for. for. For the dancing and We've got all the cool music. We've got you know a really good cast uh -huh. and a really good storyline. I think so. It's it's all in there. Yes, bringing it back to the storyline. Yes. Your character, you're kind of like a, a bad boy of sorts, right? Uh, you know, he he's you the, can admit it. He he's sort of a <laughs> European bad boy. No, oh. because uh, he he can sew whole outfits for his sister and himself. And but the difference is Watch I can't out. even sew a button. So <laughs> that's where that comes in. However, he's um, got his own his own accent, which I created. I created the whole dialect and his personality. How do you go about creating your own dialect for a character? That is so interesting. <laughs> well, I love I love just sort of doing impersonations. I'm not really good at doing people, but I like doing certain random countries. Uh huh. So I took like European like countries and I just sort of picked apart pieces and made an accent out of it. So some people think that my, our characters are Swedish. Some people think hmm. we're German. Some people think we're Russian. Just because of the whole how the accent comes across, and there's no real answer as to there where isn't. you really are from. We're from a fictional country, but we haven't actually come up with the country <laughs> names yet. Oh. But we're coming up with it right now with the writers. So. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. So, what is it like behind the scenes over there? It's, it's crazy cast. It's a very crazy cast, but we're we're mainly like brothers and sisters and a whole mm -hmm. family. Like the crew, we've all really come together. Everybody's always having a good time. We go around. We we when we eat, you know. We'll, we'll talk before we even go to our rooms. So I'll just sit, everybody will sit there holding plates without even touching it and then realize, oh yeah, we have to eat because we have 30 minutes left before we need to shoot. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll all run off, we'll eat, and then we'll come back and we'll hang and then we'll go for it. So what is it like behind the scenes? Do we have any like guitar players and sports players? I am a guitar player. Really? <laughs> yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> I am a guitar player. Uh, I've been playing Do you guitar serenade for about all the ladies? No, no, <laughs> just my mom and my sisters. Oh, that's sweet. So you've been playing for a while. I've been playing for about two years now. Mm -hmm. So I got my guitar, my first guitar, two years ago Christmas. Wow. So I've been I've been playing since then. I've been playing like Beatles, Jimi Hendrix, 
Very stuff like that. Cool. So I've I've been playing and I've my friends like let me borrow their guitars because I'm I'm sort of trying to figure out which guitar I really want to go for because I currently have a Les Paul and then like a few acoustics. So my friends wow. currently letting me uh, practice with his Telecaster. So I'm enjoying that one. Wow, you sound like a real musician. Cause that was kind of like you were from another country. And you're like, it's like your character. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you go about that. Yeah, okay. Uh, so of course I want to know, are you, like, do you sing at all? And, and might there be any music playing coming up on the show? I hope so. And I, I do sing and I play my guitar. So, and I've, I've written a few songs, but I'm not gonna let any of them out there yet until they're fully done. Cause I, you know, it's a, it's a big thing for me. So right. I want to make sure that everything is got everything down yeah so that way I can just set it out there and I can be fully happy with it no matter what anybody says I'm good very cool so shake it up is coming up on the Disney Channel November 7th November 7th is the official debut we premiere right after Hannah Montana's finale and then oh, we take wow. over that that slot afterwards Wow, so Hannah Montana fans out there. Get ready, you got get new people. Ready. New people, yeah. oh, shake it up. Shake it up. All right, Kenton Duty, thank you for stopping by, thank Clever TV. Thank you for TV. having me, I love it, and this is a really cool lounge if I do say so. Thank you, well that's comfy. what we like to hear. Make sure you guys stay tuned to Clever TV for more info on this guy, Kenton Duty, his new Disney Channel show, Shake It Up, and you know, the rest of the entertainment news you all love to hear. I'm Dana Ward for Clever TV, and we'll see you soon.